This video will show how to inspect the simulated cut model with Vericut's analysis tool, Excalibur. Here we have a Vericut project open. The Vericut setup is complete, and now we can play the simulation. In Vericut, the simulated cut model can be measured just like a part in an inspection department. A wall thickness, a drilled hole diameter, the position and angle of a feature can all be measured. Excalibur enables you to take measurements and obtain historical and mathematical information about the simulated cut model. Measurements in Excalibur are relative to the active coordinate system. So let's make the program zero the active coordinate system. Let's also make it visible. Now, let's simplify the Vericut desktop. We want to use only the workpiece view to inspect the simulated cut model. And let's also go ahead and hide the fixture model to get better access to the stock. Excalibur has several measurement options available from a pull-down list. The feature history option is used to display the mathematical information and the NC program history of a cut feature. A helpful tool when working with large parts is the zoom to a box option. This icon can be modified so that a new view from the zoomed area is opened. The historical data displayed in the Excalibur window includes the NC program file name, the record number, and the NC program record responsible for cutting the highlighted feature. This function is useful to spot check machine features and also to determine the source of an error identified by Vericut. The thickness option is used to measure the distance through material. A vector normal to the surface at the point selected is displayed and the distance to the point where the vector exits the material is reported as the thickness. The air distance option is used to measure an air gap between two entities. A vector normal to a surface at the point selected is displayed, and the distance to the point where the vector re-enters material is reported as the air distance. The distance angle option is used to measure the distance and or angle between any combination of two points, planes, axes, model of component origins, or edges formed by intersecting planes. To assist with the inspection process, we can use the section option. The features in this window enable you to define section planes through a simulated cut model in a workpiece view. You can define as many section planes and in any orientation you desire. The section plane orientation and distance are described with respect to the active coordinate system. We can now measure the blind hold's depth. A hole depth is the length of the cylinder between the plane and its intersection with the cone at the bottom of the hole. The display tool with stock collisions options is used to highlight collisions between the tool holder and the simulated cut model, and is only active when a holder has collided with the cut model at some point during the simulation. With Excalibur, we can measure distances between the design model and the simulated cut model. To do this, we first need to make the design model visible. Now the design model, in blue, will overlay on top of the cut model and is now visible and available to be used with Excalibur. The stock versus design distance option allows us to specify how we want to display the design and the stock models. And then we can select on some of the features and have Excalibur report the distances. This feature is 50 thou undercut. And that's it. For more information on features you have seen here, see the Vericut help. Or for a step-by-step -step training session, see the Vericut welcome screen.